My background is in furniture design, but for a long time I've been exploring more spatial issues in my work. Um, so I've been working on exhibition designs, interior designs, furniture installations and public art installations. My work is primarily about function, but I'm very much interested in adding something to the work that is beyond function, something that is sculptural and sometimes also interactive. Humour, to a certain extent, is, is important in my work. It, I wouldn't say it's laugh-out-loud humour, but I think I'm, I'm very interested in, in creating a dialogue between the work and the user. When I'm given a brief, I try to rewrite the brief for myself to find certain points of, of problems and then try and find solutions for them. And the solutions, they, they kind of go in different, different ways. Some of them are purely functional, so I work a lot with plans and um, spa spatial awareness and how people move around the space and how kind of sizes fit within a space. Every project is very different, which is something I very much enjoy, but it also throws up different challenges. And in some cases, the, the site-specific nature of the project um, requires me to research um, the space a lot or, or, or the people that use it a lot. And in the past, I've, I've had to research the, the habitations of bats and in other cases it's been like how school children behave in a school and, and so this, this project has been really interesting because it's been a, it's been a um, um, patient and staff relationship that so far, so far hadn't explored. So I've very much enjoyed um, the beginning of this project because initially I didn't do any design for several months. I've just spent a lot of time in meetings and finding out through the, through the client what is really required for the building. We're trying to create a hospital that's very different to normal hospitals and that kind of the, the entrance point of the hospital is, is important and different. And how, how can this be different but at the same time not alienating for the staff and, and patients, patients in particular. Um, and so uh, I I kind of liked un unpicking this and trying to make sense of it and through through these discussions finding that perhaps what's most important is the privacy of patients when they're talking to staff and checking in and they're coming into this new environment. And the space, especially in the welcome village, is very open and as much as we try and want to keep some of that openness, I think it's also important to create spaces within the space. In order to create privacy for the patients when they're checking in, I'm, I'm exploring the idea of um, seating clusters. And these seating clusters will have screens around them which which are translucent. And these, these screens would be layered throughout the space, so therefore you get a layering of colour um, and different visual impacts, which kind of create a sculptural quality within the space. The, the initial brief for this reception area included the kitchen table. Part of my exploration is to see how this kitchen table might work and whether really a kitchen table as such is the best solution. And if we do have this table area, does it really need to be a, a large, massive kitchen table, which is something that you usually associate with one large group? Or is it more a case of having clusters of tables that are linked together so they reflect the nature of maybe several individual conversations? I think for me it is important that it's a cancer centre and that you're dealing with patients and people who are um, not well or recovering or anxious or you know that are coming into the space with a with a different set of issues than if you were designing an, an exhibition in the museum or, or a coffee shop and as much as I don't want them to focus on oh how does this work and, and what is the design and what is the art in here I want them to move through the space with with a kind of awareness of a care having been taken with the environment and that, that someone is thinking of them and trying to make their journey pleasant and, and special. The, the mind is, is a very powerful thing and let's, let's start with the mind the minute we, we step into the building.